Hello, Holly Organizer here. Today I want to show you exactly what I mean when I say let's put the word to work in our lives. That's where our power is. That's where the passion is. That's where our purpose comes from. But let me show you exactly how we're supposed to do that. The Lord gives us pictures. Now you see this little guy right here? Some say, hey, cool uh, knight. Suit of armor, right? Well, yeah. But it, to me and my family and to you as a believer, is Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. And this, we can put in our lives. We need him in our lives and everything that he represents. And I'm going to show you exactly how we do that. It tells us in Ephesians that we are not fighting battles, whether it's stress or divorce or fighting with people or money or sickness, whatever issue is, it is not with people. There is good and there is evil. If you're going to believe your creator, then you have to believe that there is evil also. So when we're going into battle, this is all nice and everything. However, it's a little cumbersome and I'm not really sure it would do the job anymore. And we're not in a physical fight. It's kind of like shooting at a tornado. We are dealing with spiritual things. And that's why this represents to us how we are to protect ourselves because we do have an enemy. So here's the lesson for you. In Ephesians, it tells us exactly that we're not, you know, fighting people. We are fighting wickedness. And it tells us how to protect ourselves. First off, the belt of truth. If you look at my little Roman here, he's got a belt on underneath here. And it's the belt of truth. What does the bell do? The bell holds up what is important. If you don't know what the truth is, you're going to be fooled by everyone who says there's a big gray area. Some things are okay and some things are not. Well, your God is black and white and it is or it isn't. You have to know the truth. Think about it. Man, don't get caught with your belt off and your pants down and you're going to look like a fool sometime because you don't know the truth. That's how you put it into your life the word. You read it and then know the truth. Boy, that'll get you really far. How about the helmet of salvation? Tell me that every one of us don't need the helmet of salvation. We're all going somewhere. There are only two places, so we need that. And that is extremely important because think about it. You're shot in the head. You're hitting the head really hard. You are done and over with. Same with salvation. Without salvation, you are done. Wear your helmet proudly. I am saved by the breastplate of righteousness that is a gift. He's got it right here. That is a gift from God once you receive him. And you need that because it says also in the word, where it's always true, above all else. Above all else, guard your heart, for it affects everything that you do. It's very, very important. Where are your breastplate of righteousness? We can't be perfect, and thank goodness we don't have to be, but we're to try to be by guarding our heart. And I say this as a parent, we can guard our children's hearts by not letting them watch the garbage on TV or some of the music or some of those really nasty games that we know they shouldn't be playing. Let's guard their hearts. Let's put the breastplate on them so they can have that helmet of salvation. Think how much safer they'd be out there knowing that they can't get hurt here and they can't get hurt here. And I know the truth here. It says the feet are for the readiness that comes from knowing the word of God right here. How do I know what to do? How do I know when to run? How do I know when to stand my ground? How do I know when to just sit and be quiet? The feet represent the readiness that you get from knowing the Word of God. Here's my faith, my shield of faith. How important is this? Wow! I've got a cross on mine. But you have to have faith to believe the truth. This represents your faithfulness and this should be out in front of your truth all the time. I am faithful to my God. This is what protects the truth. I am faithful. He's faithful to me. I am faithful to him, and my faith protects my truth. I know. You can't knock me down because I know what the truth is. And then, one of the cooler parts of all, the sword. It says in Ephesians, God's word is sharper than any two-edged sword. 
Let this be what fights your battles for you. How do we do that? We do that in prayer. We know that it's not us. It's not us. It's not a physical fight. These are things that we can do to ready ourselves and our families for a spiritual fight that's out there every single day. So I just want you to know that's how we do it. We put the word to work. When you do this, you're protected. Way more protected than if you're actually in that suit, <laughs> as a matter of fact. So, I hope that explains some. If you need anything, you know I'm here. Holly Boyd signing out from A1 Organizing. Have a great day. And remember, wherever you want to organize, your head, your home, or your heart, less mess, less stress. And God bless. Thanks.